Malaria parasites are transmitted by mosquitoes that play a major role on the spread of the disease. So far, it has been impossible to rare malaria mosquitoes without blood. And to overcome this limitation, our protocol describes a blood substitute diet that is able to support mosquito breeding in the insect tree. The use of blood-free diet is highly advantageous over blood. A blood-free diet does not have the ethical constraints as the use of human blood or experimental animals. Replacing animals on experimentation is part of our 3R policy. Replace, reduce, refine. Not using blood reduces costs and the logistics associated with collection, storage and maintenance of vertebrate blood. The use of artificial diets can facilitate testing of antiplasmodium molecules. Until now, we have tested our diet using different Anopheles species. In all of them, the diet was well engorged by the females and allowed egg production and laying. We believe this diet has potential use for the rearing of other mosquito species. Actually, we are now testing it for Aedes, a vector of many diseases such as dengue fever, Zika virus or yellow fever. Maintain Anopheles Kaluzi Yaoundé strain mosquitoes in a room at 26 degrees Celsius, 75% humidity and under a 12-hour to 12-hour light-dark cycle. House mosquitoes using standard insectary conditions in a single cage to guarantee mating. Use a plastic pipette to collect mosquito pupae.